Well, good Monday, everyone. I hope you all are having a great start of the, the week. Um, today, uh, I wanted to talk about something, uh, something different. Um, a, a while ago, one of our followers had suggested this app for on uh, your cell phone. And this app is called, and I'll let you read it for yourself, it's called Ghost Tube. And on it, you can get all sorts of things. Um, I need to work with it for a while, but it, it can do uh, like a spirit box response. And immediately, I'll tell you, it was weird. I only left it on for a little while because I was busy doing other things. But I was asking about the name. We have a spirit here, and it's a little girl. And I was asking about the name of the little girl, and I got Jude. And I don't know if that's short for Judith or if that's just her, her name, maybe. And then after that came up the word, and this is really creepy, torturer. And I do not know what that was supposed to mean. But that, that was pretty spooky. I can't wait to get back to that app and try to figure it out more. And Because I, I don't recall exactly how that app, that part of the app came up. But yes, definitely going to gonna work on that. Whew, that was quite a trip. But anyway, how are you all doing? Um, we got a special treat for you all today. Um, Coming up here after the, the tarot reading, I'm doing the 10 sexiest zodiac signs. Ooh, la la. <laughs> and I'm sorry, there's a few not listed there, of course, because there's 12 signs. So uh, two signs did not make the list. But... Uh, you have to watch on to see if your sign did or maybe uh, someone you love and uh, see how accurate that is. I uh, did some comparison on the internet and uh, this is uh, what I came up with. The general overall consensus. All right. So here, let me, uh, and you like my crystal ball? I had it in the cabinet and... Uh, Decided to pull it out for this occasion. But, uh, yeah, I'm not doing a crystal today. We'll have that little segment. The 10 sexiest zodiac signs. Ooh la la. <laughs> Oop. Oh, what card is that? One dropped out between my fingers. Let me see what card that is. Oh, that card happens to be the Four of Pentacles. So I guess that one is meant to be read. So here goes. Let's uh, start off with the Four of Pentacles. Before we get to the 10 sexiest zodiac signs. <laughs> Ooh la la. <laughs> I'm sorry, I like saying that. I probably come out sounding like Porky Pig instead of uh, Pepe Le Pew. <laughs> but yes, let me flash it one more time. The Four of Pentacles. All right, this card depicts... A man who is sitting on a stool. He's holding on to two pentacles in a very defensive and tight posture. It's almost as if he's hoarding them out of fear of loss. One pentacle is balanced precariously on his head, as you can see, while another one is tightly clutched between his own hands. And there are two of them which are securely placed beneath his feet, down there. He is making sure that absolutely no one touches his coins. At the same time, he is also unable to move because he's holding on to the coins so tightly. 
In other words, he is restrained from acting because he is holding too tight to his possessions. To some, money does not always bring freedom. The Four of Pentacles card is capable of generating both negative and positive perceptions. On one hand, the card signifies that you have successfully managed to accomplish much of your goals and you have managed to attain a significant material wealth in the process. However, on the other hand, there is a significant chance that you will start valuing things only for their material worth. You have worked hard to get to the point where you are now, and it is absolutely natural for your desire to make sure that you remain stable. But this also has a chance to turn you into an overly possessive or greedy person who wants to ensure that no one is capable of taking away your own wealth. The Four of Pentacles is also a card which shows you you are currently in a position in which you have solid investments and you are financially stable. Because of your newfound wealth, you are being particularly conservative about money, and you are most definitely not inclined to gamble when it comes to any type of financial matters. You are protective of what you have managed to accumulate through time, and you desire to steadily increase your overall net worth. Be aware that without risk, there is no reward. If you spend too much of your time attempting to conserve, you may become prisoner to your own material possessions. Wealth is a kind of energy as well, and we create what we express. Okay, now as for love, your relationship can be clingy and even suffocating with the Four of Pentacles tarot love meaning. Relationships with this card can be filled with jealousy and possessiveness, which can slowly deteriorate even the happiest of loves. There are likely issues with insecurity or fear involved, and lovers may have to take some time to untangle these issues before they drive away their partner. If you're single, there is likely you'll still hold on to something from your past romances, whether it's grudges, resentment, or the dreams of an ex returning to your life. These things need to be resolved before you can truly be open to another lover again. Now, as for career, you have finally found some stability in your career right now with the Four of Pentacles appearing in your work spread. If you've struggled in the past to find this stability or if the job is new to you, it may be because that you're still a bit insecure about your role. This could make you guarded, uneasy, and perhaps even paranoid. This can do you more harm than good if you let it go too far. You may find it hard to collaborate and work as a team, feeling protective of your ideas and worrying about that, getting credit for what is rightfully yours. These things do happen. Address them, but don't let yourself be consumed by them. Sometimes this card can mean you are remaining in an unfulfilled job just to collect your paycheck. This job may be stable, but you may truly hate it there. And now as far as finances, you may have recently just found some material stability and as such, you have been able to accumulate a little fortune. If you're used to struggling, you may think about your finances a lot, trying to do whatever you can to protect this small fortune. You'd, you can rather be frugal and conservative with your money, even if it causes you a lot of extra work and distress. Alternatively, the Four of Pentacles can simply suggest that you are saving for something big, like a car, a new home, a child's fortune, or even your own retirement fund. This card can also mean, in general, that someone in your situation um, may be holding money over your head to maintain power in a situation. We see the gray area of this card, okay? And it's like, uh, it's a stage. And the man is performing on this stage. And this is telling us that not everything is as it seems in this situation. Someone may have some information that they are keeping from you. And if that is the case, they are doing so intentionally. 
But it may be that you are keeping your cards close to your chest as well. Sometimes this card can appear when the tarot is sending a message to you to guard your actual physical assets a bit more. Some financial problems could be in the pike, but career advances could also be noted by the Four of Pentacles if you hang on to your mental and physical resources today. The crown in the card of this man shows success is possible. You may need to keep some cards close to your chest to get there first, though. All right. Hope that applies to you all. Now, uh, next, our next, uh, let's do our next segment now. The 10 Sexiest Zodiac Signs. Ooh la la. <laughs> All right, with that, I thought here's something that you all might be a little interested in. It's the 10 sexiest zodiac signs. And I'm sorry if uh, your sign isn't listed in here. Um, This is what I've looked up online, and uh, this is kind of a general consensus from what I can find, but, uh, and this kind of surprised me a little bit, but uh, first up is Scorpio. Now, this shouldn't come as any surprise. Scorpios are well known for their sexiness. In fact, they are all well known for their energy, passion, charisma, and intensity. All of these factors draw people to them and make them appealing to others around them. As a Scorpio, you create intrigue. You're quiet yet charismatic. You have energy and intensity, but it's also layered with some darkness. In a way, you unknowingly create an aura of mystery, which definitely makes others want to know more. The second one is Cancer, and Cancers love intensely. They are emotional beings, but this isn't necessarily bad. More so, it means they love to love and nurture. They connect on a deep emotional level, which makes them sexy and appealing to prospective partners and more. Emotions aside, cancers are also funny, charming, and loyal individuals. For a love match, you know you have someone who won't stray and will give it their all when you're in a relationship with a cancer. Number three, Pisces. Pisces make sensitive partners, but are also true romantics. They give to their partners and are very considerate, making them ultra sexy to those around them. As far as the sexiest zodiac signs go, Pisces make great partners, which is highly attractive to others. Number four, Leo. While Leos may be narcissistic, don't worry, We still love you, Leos. (laughs) Their confidence and boldness are unmatched. A Leo's assertiveness makes them great sex partners. In many ways, they are intensely and unintentionally sexy, ranking them as top five in terms of sexiness. Leos are fearless, energetic, and sometimes intense. They pour passion into everything they do, causing others to gravitate toward them. Number five, Sagittarius. Fun and up for anything, a Sagittarius isn't exactly scared of experimenting or freedom. In fact, part of their attractiveness is their autonomy. A Sagittarius also has another sexy aspect. They are hard to get, but when they do fall, they fall hard, making them intense and passionate lovers. Number six, Gemini. While Geminis might get bored easily, this trait actually makes them ultra sexy. They will chase after the newness and even display some unpredictability, which for many others can act as a breath of fresh air. A Gemini can also be playful and childlike, making them fun and entertaining to be around. As lovers, they are another intense sign. They love a good challenge, and this doesn't exactly make them easy to get into bed, 
but it does add some sexual stimulation, drawing many individuals into their inner web. Seven is Taurus. Ruled by Venus, known as the planet of love, Taurians exude a natural sexiness. With a strong sense of self, they don't need all the attention which can be extremely attractive. In truth, their loyalty and attunement with their senses make Taurians super appealing and sexy. The one problem that can arise with Taurians is their inability at times to communicate, which, when in a relationship, can lead to various misunderstandings. Eight is Virgo. As an earth sign, Virgos are very committed within relationships and very nurturing. They can make them super sexy to their partners or potential partners. They can also have a fairly good balance between independence and dependency, making them confident and strong partners. In many ways, Virgos are excellent at making sense of things that don't exactly make sense to others. This offers a place of security, especially with someone they care about. Number nine, Aquarius individuals tune in to others' wants and needs. They also like to have fun, making them playful and caring zodiac signs to be around. In fact, they are one of the best zodiac signs to be in good company with, which makes them undeniably attractive. And number 10, that's my sign, and it finally came in. That number 10 is Libra. At peace, a Libra brings a sense of calm and rationality to a room. Their sex appeal is heightened by their ability to be devoted and caring partners. Yet, it's their attention to detail that truly gets them the attention they deserve and draws people to them. So, yes, I am sorry for anyone that didn't get on this list. Uh, there are exceptions, I'm sure. But, uh, yeah, I thought you all might get a little kick out of that. And so with that, I would like to wish you all a great week. I hope you have a great Monday. Blessed be. Uh, peace. And uh, until tomorrow. Bye-bye.